Welcome to the Bullying Point. I'm Richie Ware. It's Mike Taylor. Now, Michael is our safety director as well as our last word technical in the business. Haven't been with us in a while, so we're glad you're back with us here. And we're going to talk about some, uh, some code stuff. And, and uh, actually, NFPA is really what we would like to talk about. First of all, NFPA, what does it stand for? What is that? It's National Fire Protection Association. Okay. And what are they in place to do? They set up uh, codes for just about anything that will start a fire. Okay, all right. <laughs> and so NFPA 85, which is what bowlers come under, is the code for bowler assemblies. Okay, so we recently did an article um, and talking about this, that if a boiler room or boiler was to lose power, right. um, what do you actually have to do? And there are some codes that actually go, go with that. Yeah, NFPA 85 and CSD-1 both require that if you lose control power that you have to manually reset the panel. Okay. You, you don't want the board to restart on its own when power is restored. Okay. And Somebody has to reset. Push so the it, it is a manual process that has to be done either a push button. If there's no buttons out here, what can be done? Well, inside? what what people are doing now is putting a, a button on that's a a panel reset basically that latches in a relay when you have power and if you lose power it drops out and it won't restart until you push the button again okay but you can also get it with a low water cutoff that is a manual reset like a Warwick low water cutoff relay manual reset one if you lose power it drops out you have to reset it before the board will start again so that meets the code as well so if you have um, a work in that situation for your low water cutoff um, and mm -hmm. you don't have a button outside, obviously what has to happen then? Then you have to go inside the panel to put, re push the button. Nowadays, everybody wants to put the buttons on the outside so that they don't get into the NFPA 70 code, which okay. is working around live wires, live power. Gotcha. So putting it on the outside, then you stay away from working around the live power. You don't get into the... 70 code. Okay. <laughs> now you also mentioned uh, our, uh, earlier when we were talking, you talked about some, some three phase um, stuff that needs to yeah, happen. Yeah, the, the, it's not only the control power, but also the three phase power, which is going to the blower motor. If you lose it, it requires the manual reset as well. Mm. So the way to get by that is to always run your control power off a transformer from the same three phase power that your blower is running off of. Okay. That way, it's going to drop out as well. Anytime the three phase drops out, the control power will drop out, so you manually reset it there right. with the same button. So um, one of the things that, I, that I'd like to clarify is, um, you know, you hear people say UL, and sometimes they take UL and then they put the word code behind it. We've been guilty of that too. But UL is really not a code. No, it's not, but if you Google UL code, it brings up it, UL code. It brings up UL code. Even though it's not a code. Right. It, UL is a listing testing laboratory. They're a testing laboratory that, that they test millions of items to make sure that they're safe. Mm -hmm. And then they put their listing on it. And they test those items to a standard that they have written, a UL standard. Right. Uh, so, so it's not a code. It's a standard listing and testing agency that tests everything per standards. Right. So if you are mentioning UL, you want to keep code out of the- uh, Right, if the uh, UL the standard or UL listing, yeah, basically is what it really is. It's not a code. Perfect. Very good information and things that people do get uh, messed up out there. So appreciate mm -hmm. you hanging out with us and giving us some tips on the uh, NFPA 85. And we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Appreciate Michael hanging out with us today to talk about the NFPA 85. Remember how important that code is, um, that if the power does go out, that you have to have a manual reset switch. Make sure it's on the outside of the panel. That's the best way to do it. Um, and if you are a service technician, you can now go out and make sure that panels are set up that way in boiler rooms. Now we're gonna be in Baltimore, March 17th through the 19th at the National Facility Maintenance Show. Uh, Alex Taylor will be there. Come by, see him, get some free goodies, and uh, say hey to him. Well, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter if you don't mind. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, 
share those videos, and go out and look at all the other information that we have on our YouTube channel. And we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.